Hey, man. <laughs> How y'all doing out there, okay? So I wanted to talk about this because this is also another prevalent topic, you know, in my community. I can only speak for my community because this is stuff I've seen. This is stuff I've heard. And I'm like, all right, this is perfect. So Kevin Hart, he had some he had some words to say that it resonated with me and I wanted to talk about it, man. So listen and I'll catch back with y'all. Boring having money by yourself. Because you and nobody else can do it Your friends can't you. come. They can't do it with <laughs> yeah. you. So if you don't. And create the yeah. things for people to enroll with you, yeah. it's lonely there. That's why my circle, that group is around me, they're not hanger owners. It's about to earn. They're not giving. Our lives change because we made a commitment. We are a thing. All right. I heard that, right? And yeah, that is a prevalent thing because people feel like once you you're rich and successful you switch up like oh you don't want to hang out with us anymore uh you know blah 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 and all of that <laughs> all of that crap yeah that happens often so first of all i wanted to say right i'm glad that he mentioned they're not hanger honors right aka leeches okay i never heard anyone say hanger honors but <laughs> leeches is is the word and I'm glad he made that discernment, right? I'm glad he made that abundantly clear because that's where the disconnect happens for a lot of people. A lot of people feel like, okay, they have this one this one friend that makes it, becomes successful, whatever the case is, and everyone around them feels like, oh, oh, you're supposed to help me. You're supposed to, you're supposed to do this and that for me. Oh, how could you do that? How could you switch up? Like, uh-uh, uh-uh. You notice he said they're not hanger honors. Everyone who made it with him was was there with him, was was grinding with him. And that's the big, big, big important factor, bro. It's a very important factor. And you see, he said the spots with uh, his close friends have, they weren't given, they was earned. Very important, man. Cause here's my thing, and here's what I realized. A lot of people, okay, for example, okay, LeBron, right? A lot of the people in his circle, or like the, the main people in his circle was people he grew up with. But I know he wouldn't have brought any of them along if there was a leech. If all they wanted was money from him. Or if all they wanted was some resources from him. He wouldn't have brought them along if they didn't grind with him. If they wasn't in the, putting in those hours with him. Because some people have this weird mentality that just because they're friends with someone who make it successful or just because you know they was cool with this person or they was they grew up with this person that when they become successful they by default have to help them or something like that like no that's where i disconnect from this <laughs> that's what i disconnect from this topic because i just have this mentality that if i know someone who's become successful don't help me with anything or give me some advice. That's all I'm going to want from you. Just give me some advice. But if I'm growing up, like hypothetically, if I could go back in time, right, to elementary school, right, and I have a friend and we both grinding, we both want to become successful, I'd rather that than we go, like hypothetically, we go back in time, right, and he becomes successful and I don't and I'm asking him for money. Like, no, I'm not going to do that shit because when he was grinding, what the fuck, what was I doing? And vice versa, because if I become successful, hypothetically, right, and he doesn't, when I was grinding, what was he doing? That's the thing, and I'm so glad Cameron Hart mentioned that they didn't get those spots. They have to earn them shits, and they're not leeches. That's important, bro. That's important, because it's not that people switch up on you. It's not that. It's that when they was grinding, what were you doing, bro? What were you doing? And that's a big... <laughs> That's a big subject to bring up, man. I'm not going to lie. That's a big subject. And that's why people become successful. They move out. They move away because they're around a bunch of leeching ass people, bunch of down bad ass people who saw this person grinding, saw this person on the road to success, probably was doubting them, probably didn't believe in them or whatever the case is. And then they become successful. And then they want to ask for shit. <laughs> you know? Like, that's how that works, bro. It's unfortunate, but that's how that shit is. And last point. Notice how uh, Cameron Hart said the team together had to make that commitment. 
That's a very big, yo, I'm, I'm telling you, he pretty much said, yes, I brought people along with me who grew up with me, but they had to work for that shit too. Very important. I don't know why people feel entitled to shit. I don't know why people feel like by default, you're supposed to help them up too. Like, no, the spots around me, they're not giving to just any old body, bro. They have to earn that shit. And yeah, that's the that's my main thing, like, bro. And I know that's not gonna be the last time I talk about this, cause this is so prevalent. People just feel like entitled, man. Like it, they feel they feel entitled to another person's success, bro. I don't get it. I don't understand that shit. I would never want that. You know what I'm saying? But let me know what y'all think, though, man. <laughs> let me know what y'all think. If you made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. And let me know. Question, all right? Do you like would you feel entitled to another person's success? Let me know what you think about that. All right. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. More videos coming soon.